What's up guys, welcome back. The weather's starting to change and that means cookout season is almost here. So today I'm showing you a fantastic appetizer that you can either make inside in the kitchen, in the oven, or outside on the grill. This is my recipe for maple bourbon bacon wrapped shrimp. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Here we have some bacon. Not just any bacon though guys, we need to use center cut bacon because it tends to be a little bit thinner. That means it's gonna cook a little faster for our shrimp. Here we have some extra large jumbo shrimp. We got some butter. We got some low sodium soy sauce, chili powder, our maple syrup, Dijon mustard, brown sugar, a little lemon bay seasoning. Feel free to use whatever seafood seasoning you like and I'll go grab the bourbon. All right guys, so again, we're using center cut bacon for this recipe. Do not use thick cut bacon for this. We're also gonna pre-cook the bacon. So we got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna pop this bacon on an aluminum foil lined baking sheet. Pop that in the oven at 400 for about, you know, eight minutes or so. Just wanna get it about 50% of the way cooked. That way it'll be done by the time the shrimp is done. We don't want the bacon to be undercooked when the shrimp is done. And you guys know shrimp cook pretty fast. So bacon's going in the oven, find some room. All right, my friends, as you can see, we have some beautiful extra large jumbo shrimp, peeled, deveined, all cleaned up, leaving the tails on for controversy and to act as a little bit of a handle. We're gonna hit that with a little olive oil just to kind of make sure that the seasoning sticks, make sure they brown up nicely as well. Keeping the seasoning real simple today, just a light layer of my lemon bay. You can use lemon pepper, you can use Cajun seasoning, Tony's, Old Bay, whatever you got, whatever you like, will get the job done. If you don't have my seasoning, guys, you can still make the recipe, just substitute in whatever your favorite flavor is, and you're good to go. So a nice light application of that. Get in there with your hands and really kind of massage that in, work the seasoning into the shrimp, make sure that it's evenly distributed, like you see right here. Then we're gonna pull that bacon out of the oven, let that cool for a minute, and then we'll begin to wrap the shrimp in that bacon. Now for this maple bourbon brown sugar glaze, we got two tablespoons of melted butter, a quarter cup of brown sugar. We're working over medium low heat here. To that we're gonna add about two tablespoons or so of low sodium soy sauce. We're also gonna add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. The flavor pairings on this one, guys, is fantastic. Dijon mustard adds a little bit of a bite to the situation, along with the soy is gonna add some savoriness. Brown sugar, obviously, is gonna sweeten it up. Of course, you gotta go with the maple, and then we're gonna really set it off with the bourbon. So as far as the maple syrup goes, you wanna get the best quality you can find. I just grabbed this from my local Harris Teeter. We're going in with a half cup of maple syrup. We're also gonna hit it with a little chili powder and some all-purpose seasoning. I'm gonna bring that to a simmer and then hit it with just a shot or so of bourbon, just to wake it up and to wake me up. Alcohol is optional, guys. If you don't want to cook with that, you can leave it out completely. It'll still be delicious. There we go. Let's let it reduce a little bit. Let it become one with like a, you know, a glaze-like consistency. We'll start to develop as the sauce reduces and thickens a bit. All right, guys, time for the fun part. Make sure you taste as you go. Now you wanna bring that to a boil, cook off the alcohol, leaving behind the flavor, which is gonna pair beautifully with everything else in there. Take my word for it. If you don't believe me, call my bluff and make it, and then come back and let me know what you think. All right guys, so you want the bacon to still be limp enough that you can wrap it around the shrimp, so don't overcook it at this step. We're gonna add a wire rack to the same baking sheet that we cooked the bacon on originally. That's gonna help when we go to brush the sauce on here to just drip, the excess will drip down to the bottom. The foil is there to make sure you don't make a mess. So here we have our perfectly seasoned shrimp. Good size here, our bacon has cooled enough that it's safe for us to handle. And then we're just gonna wrap it up. Nice and simple. 
wrap it the best you can guys and just place it right there on the wire rack just repeat that process for all of your shrimp you can use some toothpicks if you want to be you know extra precise about it but as long as you lay the the end piece down flat like this it should hold you know just fine so you can break out the toothpicks if you want to but today we're keeping it nice and simple if a little bit of it the bacon breaks it's no big deal just uh, fill in the gaps with any extra bacon so that one broke we'll make one layer there and then a second layer with the other piece that glaze is really gonna like tie everything together so it'll look real nice at the end either way even if the the bacon wrapped portion of everything doesn't look exactly like you hoped it would the glaze will kind of hide some of the imperfections extra large jumbo shrimp if your shrimp's a little smaller sorry fellas <laughs> just kidding. just kidding couldn't help myself it's the bourbon talking So there we have some bacon wrapped shrimp ready for the oven. About 75% of the way through, we'll go ahead and add that glaze on there, cook it for the final 25%, and then we'll plate this up. All right guys, we're just about ready. As you can see, the bacon's getting nice and crispy. The shrimp is turning colors. You want your shrimp to be an internal temperature of 145 degrees. That'll let you know that it's done. We're gonna go ahead and brush on this delicious glaze that we have here. That's gonna help caramelize the bacon a little bit more gonna add a nice beautiful color to everything once it goes back in the oven we're gonna reserve the leftover as a dipping sauce and you got yourselves a delicious appetizer on your hands this works good on the grill as well guys so inside in the oven or outside on the grill same recipe will get the job done for you if you want to spice this up you can hit the sauce with a little sriracha add a little sweet and spicy element to it but I really like this recipe as is but again, guys, it's your kitchen. Feel free to taste as you go, adjust as you see fit. This is a great foundational recipe, super easy, quick, and usually a crowd pleaser as long as your folks don't hate bacon. Once it's glazed up like you see right here, it's going back in the oven at 400 degrees until the bacon's nice and crispy and everything is cooked to perfection, 145 degrees internal on the shrimp. All right, guys, we went ahead and plated this up with a little bit of the extra sauce, a little chive for garnish. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, moment of truth. Here goes nothing. 